Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2022 Augie Awards. We ask you now to please rise and welcome the 2022 Augie Awards nominees and the representatives of our nominated teams. Please, now please welcome our Augie Seniors, Class of 2022. Augsburg University. This is where we come together. This is where we come to learn. To grow. To compete. As athletes. As Augies. As Augies. As Augies. We're here to shine. We're here for the moments. The moments that define our experience. Yeah! Our expectations are high. Our goals are lofty. We understand the greatness we're chasing won't be achieved by being stationary. It won't be achieved by sitting still or being ordinary. Being an Augie is about going beyond the ordinary. Putting in dedication and effort that's only visible to our teammates. They see our sweat, our heart, our battle, our grit. And together, through that effort, we create moments. No shortcuts. No quit. No giving in. No giving up. No giving up. No giving up. Oh yeah, here we go! No giving up. We're up for the challenge. To learn, to fight, to win. To win. To win. Augies. Augies. Your time has arrived. Your time, your moment is here. Augies, let's roll. And now let's begin our awards program. Jeff Swenson has spent a lifetime as a member of the Augsburg Athletic family, first as a national champion wrestler, then earning 10 national titles as coach of Augsburg's wrestling team, and now as the leader of Augie Sports as our athletic director. Please welcome Jeff Swenson. Thank you. Welcome to the 14th Annual Augie Awards. And how great is it that we're together for the first time since 2019? How about that? The Augie Awards are brought to you by our U Augsburg University corporate sponsors, whose names are displayed on the screen. Our event sponsor tonight is the Augsburg University A Club. The A Club's been supporting Augsburg athletics since 1937. And they not only are tonight's sponsor, they also provided the seniors with their gifts. 
Thanks to everyone who worked so hard to bring you this event tonight. A special thank you section is on the back of your program. A special, special shout out to Sarah Cash Darvell, Drew Prevett, Don Stoner, and Ben Deers, who are our leaders and uh, workhorses responsible for tonight's responsibility. <laughs> I'm asked occasionally, what is the reason behind our continued success? I always reply, first and foremost, we have great student athletes. And we have great coaches leading those student athletes. Let's recognize our outstanding coaching and athletic staff for their dedication, commitment to Augsburg University, and especially to their student athletes. We have one awesome coaching and athletic staff. Thank you for all you do. I'd also like to recognize members of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, or SAC, who will act as tonight's presenters. With that, please join me as we welcome our president, Paul Pribinow. How great to be here with you all at the Augie Awards. Special thanks to all who have worked so hard to plan this special event, this great get together again. Here we are together. What a great treat and it's so wonderful to be with you for these uh, ceremonies. Before we begin our award ceremony, I want to say a special word about a special student athlete, Claudia Murray, taken from us too soon earlier this semester. I was with Claudia's parents, Brian and Shelley, last week, and they wanted me to tell you how much the support of the Augsburg community has meant to them during these difficult weeks. A special shout out to the women's soccer team and coaches Engel and Navarre, who had the great idea for everyone to wear sneakers tonight in Claudia's honor. And though we might usually take a moment of silence to remember Claudia, I get the sense that she was not the silent type. So let's raise the roof. Let's raise the roof with a cheer for Claudia. Show off your sneakers and cheer so she can hear you. We'll send that picture to her folks. A few minutes ago, I had the opportunity to thank our graduating senior student athletes for their accomplishments and contributions to Augsburg. What a great class of 2022, providing senior leadership in the midst of these crazy pandemic times. We'll miss your many gifts and all of the commitment, hard work, and talent you've brought to Augie Athletics these past few years, though I know several of you will be back with us again next year to finish your eligibility, which we look forward to. And, th and now I want to tell all of our student athletes, all of our student athletes, how proud we are of you. You do so much for our university. You work and play hard, you lead and serve, you're remarkable representatives for Augsburg on campus, in the MIAC, and across the country and the world. Thanks for your spirit, your good sportsmanship, your passion for excellence, and your commitment to the values that make Augsburg great. Finally, how about I join with Jeff and asking for a great shout out to the coaches, trainers, and staff members who worked hard all year to have your backs, to keep you safe and healthy, to mentor you, and to cheer you on. Please join me in thanking them again. Please enjoy this wonderful celebration and your well-deserved honors. And for those of you who will re return next year, have a safe summer, and we'll look forward to another great year of Augie Athletics in 2022-23. Now on with this great show. Thank you. We're in the midst of another great Augsburg sports year. Seven fall and winter sports teams have qualified for the MIAC playoffs already with men's hockey and women's basketball teams earning MIAC regular season championships. In the month, in the month of January, our men's and women's basketball teams and men's and women's hockey teams had an incredible 27 and one record, wow.
The men's hockey team reached the NCAA Finals in four for the third time in school history, placing third nationally. The men's wrestling team won its uh, NCAA regional title for the 19th straight time and finished. and also finished third in the nation. The women's wrestling team recorded its third straight top 10 finish and placed sixth in the NCWWC championships. We're not done. Three Aggies have been named MIAC Players of the Year. Two Aggie basketball players were named MIAC Six Players of the Year. We had an MIAC Women's Soccer Rookie of the Year and two... <laughs> And, and, two, and two Augie coaches were named MIAC Coaches of the Year. Not, 19 Augies qualified for individual national tournaments and 11 Augies earned All-American honors from fall and winter sports. Augsburg athlete, athletes have earned Conference Player of the Week honors 23 times so far, and three Augies have earned National Team of the Week honors. Two Augie teams are in Division III Academic National Championships this year, and Augsburg sports teams have an impressive 3.38 cumulative grade point average overall. Congratulations. These are just a few of the examples of what has been a tremendous year in Augsburg Athletics, and we're going to hear about many, many more tonight. We are so proud of the accomplishments of our student-athletes. Our academic award winners are named after Joyce Paff and Ed Sagasted, who are both coaches, athletic directors, and health and physical education professors. The men and women receiving the Ed and Joyce Awards are featured on your screen. To, to be an award winner, you must have a cumulative grade point average of 3.0 or better. Or, or a great. <laughs> it's so loud in here, I'm wondering if you're surprised your name is up there. To be an award winner, you have to have a cumulative grade point average of 3.0 or better, or a grade point average of 3.0 or better over the last two consecutive semesters. The individual and team Augie Award nominees tonight were nominated by the coaches and athletic staff. The coaches and staff then voted. The list was reduced to the final nominees of, the category, of each category. The head coaches and staff then voted to select tonight's winner. Tonight we celebrate all that is great with Augsburg Athletics with our 14th annual Augie Awards. Thank you. To present the award for women's most improved team, please welcome SAC members Alexa Hoffman from lacrosse and Varney Kane from men's soccer and track and field. This year's nominees for Women's Most Improved uh, Program team <laughs> um, includes a squad that set a new program record for conference wins and claimed its first ever MIAC title. A team that earned its best conference finish since 2012. And a team that set a new program record for highest placement at the national tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet this year Women's Most Improved team nominees. Please direct your attention to the um, video screen as Tom Wishing, the longtime voice of Augie, would tell us more about the nominees. Basketball. 
MIAC Coach of the Year, Ted Reversal Zoggies, earned their best MIAC record in program history, finishing with a mark of 19-2 and in conference play. They claimed the program's first ever MIAC regular season title after finishing 1-5 in the shortened 2021 season. Augsburg finished 21-6 overall and made the MIAC playoff championship game for the third time in program history. Jen Masella was named the MIAC Player of the Year and earned all MIAC and all MIAC defensive team honors, also earning a spot of the D3Hoops.com All-Region team. Anya Smith and Selena Lohr also earned all MIAC honors, with Smith taking home the MIAC Sixth Player of the Year award. Jaylee Copeland and Kalina Myers were each named all MIAC honorable mentions. Golf. Coach Eric Rowland's Augies finished in seventh place of the MIAC championships, their best finish since 2012. And McCraft broke the program record for a 36-hole tournament, shooting a 154 at the UW-Eau Claire Invitational. As a team, the Augies came within two strokes of a new program record with a two-day score of 658 at the Gustavus Division III Classic. Wrestling. Coach Jake Short's Augies posted a dual meet record of 7-2 and, and placed sixth at the National Collegiate Women's Wrestling Championships after going 4-2 and, and placing ninth nationally in their inaugural season. Emily Chilson claimed her fourth collegiate national title with Nina Mockham, Marilyn Deedy, and Gabby Skidmore each earning All-American honors. And the Augie Award goes to basketball. <laughs> Representing women's basketball, please welcome Jen Masello and Selena Law. gosh. Um, we just want to give a quick shout out to our coaches and our team, obviously. We put the work in this summer and last spring was obviously room for improvement. So we just came back and we worked really hard and I just want to give a shout out to the team because I know you guys worked really hard. So try yeah, To present the award for men's most improved team, please welcome SAC members Kayla Hansen from softball and Evan Bergman from track and field. This year's nominees for men's most improved team include a squad that earned its highest conference finish since 2010 a team that won its most games since the 2017 season, a team that recorded its second most wins in program history and advanced to the national semifinals, and a team that tied for its most wins since 2010 and advanced to the MIAC playoffs for the seventh time in program history. Here are the nominees for men's most improved team. Basketball. Coach Aaron Grease's Augies finished second in the MIAC and earned a spot in the MIAC playoffs with an overall record of 17 and 7 and 13 and 4 in conference play, securing the program's 15th straight season with double-digit wins. Joe Palmer was named MIAC Player of the Year and earned NABC All-American, NABC All-District, and D3Hoops.com All-Region honors. Raekwon Moore was named the MIAC Sixth Man of the Year while Jack Sorensen earned all MIAC second team honors. Connor Kenefli was selected to the all MIAC defensive team, and Matt Carrick was named an all MIAC honorable mention. Football. Today's your day to make a mark. Today's the day where you rise to the occasion. 
to the next level. Coach Garrett Lafker's Augies, four wins overall this season were the most in 2017, while their four MIAC wins were the most in 2015. Dominic Smith was named to the D3Football.com All-Region 6 team as a second team honoree, while also earning all MIAC first team honors. Kate Sheehan and Braden Treader were named to the All-MIAC second team, while Paul Lemke, Brian Chostrand and Shaquille Young were each named all MIEC honorable mention. Hockey. MIEC Coach of the Year and AHCA Edward Jeremiah Award finalist Greg Mays Augies recorded their second most wins in a season in school history with a record of 25 and 5, claiming the program's 11th MIEC regular season title. Augsburg advanced at the NCAA Division III semifinals after defeating St. Norbert's in the quarterfinals, the fifth NCAA tournament win in program history. Austin Martinson was named All-MIAC Player of the Year and earned AHCA Division III All-American honors alongside Mason Palmer. Martinson also earned All-USCHO Division III First Team honors, while he and eight other Augies, including Palmer, Fritz Belisle, Jared Blakowiak, Austin Dunhamer, Gavin Holland, Patrick O'Connor, and Jack Robel also earned All-MIAC honors. Samuel V. Latalka was named to the All-MIAC Rookie Team, and Logan Kahns and Nick Woodward were each named All-MIAC Honorable Mention. Soccer, Greg Holker's Augie has finished fourth in the MIAC standings with an overall record of 12-6-1, reaching the MIAC playoffs for the seventh time in program history and improving on their 2019 mark of nine wins overall. Oscar Herrera, Nick Zubkowski, Spencer Enright, and Drew Collins each earned United Soccer Coaches Division III All-Region honors. Herrera, Zubkowski, and Enright each earned a spot in the All-MIAC team, while Collins and Jorge Radia Elizaldi were each named All-MIAC honorable mentions. And the Augie Award goes to... Football. <laughs> Representing football, please welcome Paul Lemke and Trey Lee. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but I was go. I'd like to shout out to all the other nominees that were up there. Um, congrats on all the great seasons. And I just say thank you to the coaches, trainers, and honestly, I'm sure a lot of our parents have a lot of, to do with us and getting this award. All I want to say now is roll logs. Yeah. Got it? If everybody is firing on all cylinders, we have a real shot at a national title this year. You can't really coach a team that doesn't want to get better. So I think overall the season's going great. The new coaching staff is now great. We know we have a lot of work to do. We know from that first meet, seeing like the times everybody ran and everything, we're like, we got some work to do, but if we get like to where we want to be at, we're going to be on top. Like, we know that for sure. Armageddon. These girls believe, they know how good they are. But we just have to go one and all every game. Just do not lose that mentality. You know, there's a lot of accountability within our within our room that uh, that guys are, are holding themselves accountable, holding each other accountable, and um, kind of that feeling, honestly, of, of not wanting to let each other down. We're here to compete, and we're here to win, and we're here to support each other. You know, you can't be a faster runner without running every day, and we obviously have off days that we have to practice on our own and just hold each other accountable. Once you get into like a competitive atmosphere, everything changes. 
you have nerves, you're stressed out, and you're wanting to play the best you can and produce the lowest score you possibly can. When you work as a team, stuff happens. So then we went on a little bit of winning streak, which it feels good to win. It, it is nothing like it. It makes it more fun when we're all bringing our best effort. Becoming a successful program when it comes to athletic results ultimately comes down to your culture, I think, and how strong that is. Everybody's here to win, even off the field. There is a certain standard uh, to be at Augsburg and to play at Augsburg. You can feel it. You can feel it in the energy, in the room, you know, the intensity. So we're definitely selective in, in who we, you know, offer a spot into our, our locker room. And we want the kid that wants to make a difference and doesn't want to be the same old thing and do something different. Obviously, we evaluate ourselves on uh, wins and losses. That's what's on the paper. But what we, we think about is just how, how we improve every single day. Well, on our team, we have three core values um, that we try to live up to. And they include um, commitment, communication, and inclusion. As simple as it sounds and, and as vague as it sounds, too, is, is just being a good person, first and foremost, being a good teammate. You got to be doing more than just coming in for whatever, the hour and a half practice every day. The guys that put in more are the ones that are showing, you know, the results at the end of the day. If you make it a lifestyle, all of a sudden you're going to be pretty good on Saturday afternoon. It's kind of on your own honor. You kind of have to be um, accountable for it for yourself. When you buy in, it's not just that you're thinking about, hey, I need to win. You're buying into the process. You're buying into hey, I know I need to train hard in order to make sure I'm prepared to, to put myself in a situation to win a national title. We need to all be on the same page in order to be successful. It's cool when the girls buy in because you can, you can tell when they're mentally and physically and emotionally bought in the program. When everyone's bought in, coming to the rink is more of a want to rather than a have to. Buying into the four pillars here that we have around the locker room, the industrious, resilience, uh, selfless, and committed. I know if someone's buying into the program, if they're motivated, they are a team player, they connect with the team and have friends within the team. When there is a lot of intense intention going on, you kind of know people care. You, you kind of know people want to win and want to get better. We kind of proved that we put in the work during preseason and it showed throughout the season. Whether we win the national title or not, they're going to go out and compete and that's all I can ask for. I don't care if they win or lose. Our expectations is, are, are high, but it's not about necessarily winning. It, the expectation is going out there and having a great attitude and effort, and if you put that forth in, in the competition, then that's all I can ask for. That's, what I'll, that's where I'm super proud of this team, is they're gonna go out and battle no matter what. This is my pot, this is my pot. Please turn that show to the phone, got that work in the pay, all that bills and go splurge it. You hit up the mob before you hit the clip and walk up in it, bitch, looking clean and detergent, I see you. No more alcohol, just spray with some ice. We live so hard that we got a neck ice. Knock us a whip with it, fight at the night. Shit, at least I had the time of my life. Wow. To present the award for Women's Rookie of the Year, please welcome SAC members Abby Bolig from Women's Hockey and Colin Mead from Men's Basketball. This year's nominees for the Women's Rookie of the Year include a hockey player who played in all 25 games. A wrestler. A wrestler who finished as a national runner-up 
A softball player who led her team in batting average. And a soccer player who was named MIAC Rookie of the Year. Here are the nominees for Women's Rookie of the Year. Emily Cronkite, hockey. Emily was outstanding in her first season on the ice for Augsburg, earning a spot on the all MIAC rookie team after playing in all 25 games. She scored nine goals, six assists for 15 points, including two power play goals, two shorthanded goals, and a team best three game winning goals. Nina Makim, wrestling. Nina had a breakout season in her first year as an Augie, earning All American honors and finishing as a national runner-up at 136 pounds at the National Collegiate Women's Wrestling Championships. She finished the season with a record of 29 and six and recorded three pins and 17 technical falls. Katie Manneke, softball. Katie was the leader for the Augie softball team in her first season, becoming one of just four first-year players to earn all MIAC honors in 2021. She led the team with a 323 batting average with three doubles, four RBIs, and a team-best 20 runs scored. Jalen Nedelkoff, soccer. Jalen cemented her spot as the top first-year player in the conference last season, earning MIAC Rookie of the Year honors after starting all 16 games as a midfielder. She ranked second on the team with five goals and third on the team with two assists for a total of 12 points. And the Aggie Award goes to... Nina Makem. I'd like to thank everyone and the other participants who competed in this category. Thank you all so much for nominating me. I'd like to thank my coaches, Coach Chad, Coach Chuck, and Coach Jake. You guys have helped me a lot, not only to be a better wrestler on the mat, but to be a successful person out of the mat as well and to be disciplined as well. I'd also like to thank Augsburg for, and those who fought to have a women's wrestling team at Augsburg University, thank you so much. To present the award for Men's Rookie of the Year, please welcome SAC members Jen Masello from Women's Basketball and Soccer and Austin Dolomer from Men's Hockey. Present the award for Men's Rookie of the Year. Please welcome SAC members Jen Misello from Women's Basketball and Soccer and Austin Dolomer from Men's Hockey. This year's nominees for Men's Rookie of the Year include a football player who ranks second in the MIAC in passing yards per game. A football student athlete who led the MIAC in receiving touchdowns. A, wrestle a wrestler who finished as a Midwest Regional Champion. And a hockey player who helped anchor the best goalie tandem in the conference. Here are the nominees for Men's Rookie of the Year. Cade Sheehan football. Cade shined in his first full season as Augsburg signal caller, starting all 10 games and earning all MIAC honors while completing 214 of his 347 passes 
for 2,412 yards with 29 touchdowns against only 11 interceptions. He ranked second in the MIAC in passing yardage per games, third in passing yardage, and fourth in completions, attempts, and completion percentage. Dominic Smith, football. Dominic was one of the top pass catchers of the conference in his first full season as an Augie, earning all MIAC honors and D3Football.com All-Region honors. He started all 10 games for Augsburg, hauling in 69 receptions, 1,000 yards, and 14 touchdowns. He led the MIAC in receiving touchdowns and ranked second in receiving yards per game, receptions, and receptions per game. Derek Steele Wrestling. Derek had a breakout season in his first year at Augsburg, finishing the NCAA Division III Upper Midwest Regional Champion and qualifying for the National Tournament at 125 pounds. He finished the season with a record of 24 and 80, recording two major decisions a technical fall and 13 pins. Samuel Vilatelka, hockey. Samuel was an instrumental part of Augsburg's run to the Frozen Four this season, earning a spot on the all MIAC rookie team after starting 14 games in goal, a record of 11 and 3. He led the MIAC in goals against average and save percentage and started both games for Augsburg in the NCAA Division III National Tournament. And the Augie Award goes to? Dominic Smith, football. I just wanted to say thank you to my family for always believing in me uh, and my goals. Uh, also, everyone who has been with me through this journey this far. Uh, next, I wanted to thank my coaches for giving me a chance to continue to play football and help this team succeed. <clears throat> Finally, my teammates for getting me better each and every day. Shout out to my boys over there. <laughs> it puts me to be the best person I could be and athlete, and I am grateful for that. Uh, push yourself, because no one will do it for you, and I hope everyone has a good night. To present this year's academic awards, please we're welcome faculty athletic representative, Dr. Christopher Smith. So good to be back here in person, two years away, too long. Uh, because academics play a significant role in your success as a student here at Augsburg, tonight we also honor those students and teams that are excelling both in their sport and in the classroom. We will begin by honoring the students receiving the highest student athlete GPA awards student athletes with the highest cumulative grade point average based on a minimum of three semesters at Augsburg University received this award. This year, we have 16 student athletes who have achieved a perfect 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Audience, I ask you to hold your applause until all the recipients have made their way to the stage. Would the following recipients please come forward and enter the stage on your left? Peyton Allen from women's hockey. <laughs> Sammy Belint, softball. Bo Bebo from men's wrestling. Olivia Bo, women's golf. Tommy Carls, men's hockey. Come back, Lord. You come up here. Uh, Isabel Daniels, women's cross country. Brady Gross, men's wrestling. Austin Koss, men's hockey. 
Maya Merritt, swimming and diving. Carter Peterson, baseball. Toby Reinsma, men's soccer. Emily Shilson, women's wrestling. Tyler Shilson, men's wrestling. Iz Schuster, women's soccer. Charlie Stahl, men's wrestling. And Connor Thorsten, men's wrestling. Now we will move on to the academic teams of the year. All 22 Augie teams are eligible for this award, both with both a women's and men's academic team of the year receiving recognition. The winners have the highest cumulative team grade point average of the 11 women's teams and 10 men's teams. And the award for women's academic team of the year goes to it says open envelope and announce winner. Hockey. Representing women's hockey, please welcome Peyton Allen and Abby Bolig. I'd like to say thank you and I'm really proud of all of us and uh, we're very grateful to receive this award. I want to say we don't only work just hard out on the ice but we also work hard in the classroom and I'm, I'm so proud of every single one of you so roll Aggies! And the award for Men's Academic Team of the Year goes to golf. Representing men's golf, please welcome Owen Goddard and Zach Stewart. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, we're gonna make this pretty short, but for an individual sport, um, this is pretty cool that we get to work as a team to have the highest GP as a team. Um, I think both Zach and I, amongst the other uh, people on the team, can kind of take pride from our coach and our parents and teammates. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. I just want to thank Jeff Swenson and all his staff for putting on a great event tonight. It's great to see us all gathered again. I know it's been a few years, and uh, good luck to spring sports the rest of the season. Go Aggies. Good luck with finals. To present the award for Women's Athlete of the Year Individual Sports, please welcome SAC members Kayla Courtney from lacrosse and Austin Martinson from men's hockey. This year's nominees for Women's Athlete of the Year individual sports include a golfer who finished 12th in the MIAC last fall. A track and field student athlete who earned all MIAC honors in two events. 
a wrestler who earned all American honors, and a wrestler who captured her fourth straight national championship. Here are the nominees for Women's Athlete of the Year. Emma Craft Golf. Emma was the top individual golfer for the Augies last season, finishing 12th at the fall MIAC Championships with a 45-hole score of 196. She led the team with an average of 79.6 strokes per round in the fall season and tied the school record with a 54-hole score of 250 at the MIAC Championships in the 2021 spring season. Jada Lewis, track and field. Jada was one of the top sprinters in the conference last season, earning all MIAC honors in both the outdoor 100-meter dash and the 200-meter dash. She finished third in the 100-meter dash with a time of 12.52 seconds and took fourth place in the 200-meter dash with a time of 26.03 seconds in the 2021 MIAC Outdoor Championships. Nina Makum, wrestling. Nina had a breakout season in her first year as an Augie, earning All-American honors and finishing as the national runner-up at 136 pounds at the National Collegiate Women's Wrestling Championships. She finished the season with a record of 29 and 6 and recorded three pins and 17 technical falls. Emily Chilson Wrestling. Emily continued her dominant career on the mat for Augburn, earning All-American honors and her fourth straight national championship her third National Collegiate Women's Wrestling Championship titles at 109 pounds. She finished the season with a perfect record of 25 and 0, including 13 technical falls and seven pins. And the Augie Award goes to Emily Schilzen. <laughs> First of all, I want to say thank you to the A Club and the Athletic Department for putting on such an incredible event. It's an honor to be here and be recognized alongside so many other great student athletes. Thank you to Jeff Swenson, the AD, and my dad, Chad Chilson, for getting this program started three years ago. Thank you to my teammates. Wrestling might be an individual sport, but we rely so much on our teammates to get us better each and every day. Last but not least, thank you to my family, my mom, my dad, and my brother Tyler for always having my back. Go Augies! To present the award for Men's Athlete of the Year Individual Sports, please welcome SAC members Jenna Gerald from Women's Hockey and Owen Rouse from Men's Soccer. This year's nominees for Men's Athlete of the Year, Individual Sports, include a wrestler who finished in fourth place at Nationals, a wrestling captain who finished in fifth place at Nationals, a golfer who earned all region honors in the spring, and a wrestler who finished in third place at Nationals. Here are the nominees for Men's Athlete of the Year, Individual Sports. Tyler Kim Wrestling. Tyler was a force for the Augies all season long, culminating with All-American honors and a fourth place finish at 285 pounds at the NCAA Division III National Championships. He finished the season with a record of 38 and eight, recording four major decisions, two technical falls and 16 pins. Solomon Nielsen Wrestling, a captain for the wrestling team, Solomon captured All-American honors with a fifth place finish at 174 pounds at the NCAA Division III National Championships after claiming the Upper Midwest Regional title. He finished the season with a record of 32 and five and recorded seven major decisions, seven technical falls and five pins. Stellan Orvik, golf. 
Shelton was the top golfer for the Augies in both the spring and fall seasons of 2021, earning all MIAC honors and a spot on the Golf Coaches Association of America NCAA Division III All-Central Region team in the spring season. He finished in eighth place at the 2021 Spring MIAC Men's Golf Championships with a 54-hole score of 217. Finished in 16th place at the 2021 Fall MIAC Championships with a 45-hole score of 193. Tyler Chilson, wrestling. Tyler was the top overall finisher for the Augies at the NCAA Division III National Championships, earning All-American honors with a third place finish at 157 pounds. An Upper Midwest Regional Champion, he finished the season with a record of 33 and four, recording six major decisions, 15 technical fouls, and six pins. And the Augie Award goes to... Tyler Shilson, wrestling. This is an honor to win this award. I feel incredibly lucky to have the support of not just one, but two teams here at Augsburg, both the men's and women's wrestling teams. <laughs> both of them are the reason that I'm here. Um, I especially want to thank my teammates for being so positive all the time. They're one of the most... <laughs> one of the most positive teams I've ever been around, and I've been around a lot of teams. <laughs> Um, to anyone I've ever practiced with or practiced around, you guys are all a part of that. So, thank you. I think what makes me so proud is just I'm able to see it firsthand. I'm saying that people are going to turn heads because I'm seeing the work that they're doing. I believe in them and then it's just going out and doing what you do every single day. It's not like this is some surprise thing where you're, we're gonna shock the world. It's, they've been preparing for this for, for months. You know, they are, they're where they need to be. And so, as long as they go out and do what they've been doing for months, I'll be proud of them. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. It, it, it's not gonna be like I'm gonna be surprised at the results. I expect that. I expect them to be where they are. I'm gonna be proud of them for just going out there and doing what they've been doing. The girls call themselves a family and they, you know, they really truly enjoy being around each other, you know, in the rink, in the weight room. Very close-knit team that likes to have fun but also very high expectations and, and goals for, for the program and, you know, they're committed to doing that um, with each other. Certainly, like, we want to win basketball games and we want to uh, win championships, but at the end of the day, the, the pride that comes from uh, you know, seeing these guys grow up here is, it, it, you can't replace that. Like that it's just, uh, it's a huge part of uh, what, what fills us up inside as, as people and, and helps us uh, realize that what we do has purpose. Well, we never talk about wins and losses and I know it's a cliche, we talk about playing well. And when you play well, good things can happen, and, and it's contagious. We want a few, and then you want a few more, and, and that just keeps happening, and, and everybody kind of gets a feeling of it and, and understands what that feels like. The feeling of winning is like nothing else. It's surreal. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. The emotions, everything that goes through it, I mean, and, you know, once you get a taste of that, that's all you're chasing. Anyone that gets into athletics, even if it's a, a five-year-old uh, little boy or girl, and uh, to a 45-year-old Tom Brady, I mean, who, who doesn't love winning? Winning is awesome. <laughs> it feels really good. I think it's, like it's rewarding. The, yeah, it's the it, excitement of it, and yeah. it pushes you for every other game. I mean, you don't like the feeling of losing, so. <laughs> you make them pay, you find their breaking point, and when you find it, you turn it up. Ten more notches. Ten more notches. 
This is what we spend all this time training for, all this time in practice, is to get to this point. Even though these athletes are not on athletic scholarships, like they come to uh, a Division three school because they're competitors, right? And they, they want to be elite. They want to win. They want to uh, hang banners in the gym. They want to win championships. Fire to be the best for the team. Okay? Let's play for the team. Play for each other. And let's be our best. Okay? You can always give energy to others. Every single member of the team um, contributed to the win, and we know that we all had a part in winning. As cliche as it sounds, we, we try not to emphasize winning. We try to emphasize doing things a certain way, um, with the puck, without the puck, on the ice, off the ice. Um, and, and our hope is that, uh, that if we do those things, that uh, the wins will follow. The definition of success is having a favorable outcome. And my goal every time I step out onto the mat is to win because I know I'm capable of winning. I would measure success as when you are trying your best and you're improving and you're having fun while improving. And there's kind of like a group feeling with success as well. Like I would describe that as we all, as a group, know we're improving and we're working hard and we're trying to reach a goal as a group. Measuring success, don't look at it as a win or loss, look at the small things. Did we get less errors? Did we? Did I do better with hitting, pitching? Our kind of quote amongst us is, you're never staying the same. So you're always um, getting better or getting worse. And so I think our, our measure of success is that we're getting better every single day. Um, and you know whether that is in the wins and loss column or whether that's a drill in practice. Um, you know we measure success in all of those areas, and um, you know I think uh, the biggest success is that you know Augsburg is on the map, and people want to come to Augsburg and they want to be an Augie um, because they see what we have going, and um, that's the most important thing amongst our team. I'm not going to measure success off off of a, a national title or not. Do I want to win? probably more than your normal human being. I want to win that. That doesn't measure the success. It's how they go out, handle themselves, win with class, lose with class, battle to the last second. You know, if they go out there and they scrap for six minutes, that is all you can ask. Uh, but we talk a lot about with our guys about enjoying that, right? Celebrating every single win. And, uh, and that's why you see our locker room after, after every single win. It doesn't matter the opponent, they're celebrating, right? Uh, now, it's not a long celebration uh, because it's time to move on to the next game, but, uh, but it's really important to celebrate those wins because, because it does take a lot of work. <laughs> To present the award for Women's Athlete of the Year Team Sports, please welcome SAC members Belle Snyder from Women's Wrestling and Alyssa Macheski from Swimming and Diving. This year's nominees for Women's Athlete of the Year Team Sports include a soccer player who earned all region honors, <laughs> A hockey player who is named All MIAC. <laughs> a basketball and soccer player who earned All MIAC honors in both sports. <laughs> and a basketball player who is named MIAC Sixth Player of the Year. <laughs> Here are the nominees for Women's Athlete of the Year Team Sports. Jennifer Bavaric, soccer. Jennifer was the top offensive threat for the Augies this season, earning all MIAC honors and United Soccer Coaches Division III All-Region honors. She ranked second in the MIAC with 10 goals and third with 23 points in her 18 games this season, including a three-goal hat-trick in Augsburg's 3-1 win over UW Lacrosse. Kenzie Malone, hockey. Kenzie had a breakout season in her sophomore campaigning earning all MIAC honors as a forward for the Augies. 
She ranked sixth in the MIAC with 13 goals and 24 points and led the conference with a new program record five shorthanded goals. Jen Masello, basketball and soccer. Jen had a dominant season for both the soccer and basketball teams, earning all MIAC and United Soccer Coaches Division III All-Region Honors in Soccer and MIAC Women's Basketball Player of the Year, D3Hoops.com All-Region, All-MIAC, and MIAC All-Defensive Team Honors in Basketball. She played a team-high 1,607 minutes, scored two goals with two assists in soccer, and ranked first in the MIAC with 49 blocks, second with 8.8 .8 rebounds per game, fourth with 60 steals, and eighth with 14.2 points per game in basketball. Anya Smith Basketball. Anya had a phenomenal season on the court for Augsburg, earning all MIAC honors and MIAC Sixth Player of the Year honors. She ranked second in the MIAC with 17.1 points per game, and seventh with 6.5 rebounds per game, and set a new single game school record with 39 points against St. Vance. And the Augie Award goes to Jen Masello. <laughs> thank everybody for wearing sneakers for Claudia on behalf of the women's soccer team I know it means a lot so thank you so much for doing that thank you um, I also want to thank all of Augsburg athletic staff for helping us be prepared for every single game fall or winter it was awesome to have you guys there um, I also want to thank the coaches for giving me an opportunity to play at Augsburg for such amazing programs and the other nominees, you guys have had great seasons as well. I mean, two of you guys are my teammates. So I know the work you guys put in, and Kenzie, you also did awesome. So shout out to the other nominees. And lastly, I just want to say thank you to my teammates. Um, you guys are like the reason that I play, and you guys mean so much. So thank you so much. <laughs> To present the award for Men's Athlete of the Year Team Sports, please welcome SAC members Hannah Gold from Women's Hockey and Caden Gage from Baseball. This year's nominees for Men's Athlete of the Year Team Sports include a hockey player who earned All-American honors, a basketball player who was named an All-American. A football player who earned All-Region honors. And a soccer player who was named to the All-Region team. Here are the nominees for Men's Athlete of the Year Team Sports. Austin Martinson Hockey. Austin had one of the best seasons of any Division III hockey player in the country, earning ACHA Division III All-American honors, all USCHO Division III honors, MIAC Men's Hockey Player of the Year honors, all MIAC honors, and finishing as a finalist for the AHCA's Sid Watson Award given to the top Division III player in the nation. He led the MIAC with 36 points and six game-winning goals and had nine multi-point games, including four with at least three points. Joey Palmer, Basketball. Joe had a dominant season on the court for the Augies, earning NABC All-American Honors, MIAC Men's Basketball Player of the Year Honors, D3Hoops.com All-Region Honors, NABC All-District Honors, and All-MIAC Honors. He led the MIAC in both points per game with 21.0 and rebounds per game with 9.0 and recorded 11 double-doubles, 14 20-plus point games, and four 30-plus point games. Dominic Smith Football. Dominic had a breakout year in his first full season on the gridiron as an Augie, 
earning all MIAC honors, D3Football.com all-region honors, and MIAC Offensive Player of the Week honors. He led the MIAC with 14 receiving touchdowns and ranked second in the conference with 100 receiving yards per game and 69 total receptions. He recorded five games with 100 plus receiving yards and five games with seven or more receptions. Nick Zukowski, soccer. Nick had the best season of his career as a junior on Augsburg soccer team, earning all MIAC honors and United Soccer Coaches Division III all region honors. He played in 18 games for the Augies, scoring three goals with two assists as a midfielder, including two game-winning goals and a game-tying goal. And the Augie Award goes to Austin Martinson. Just want to start off by thanking everybody, uh, all the faculty and everybody who put tonight on. It's pretty cool. Um, just want to say thanks to all my teammates. Um, obviously, it was a pretty fun year this year, making all the way to Lake Placid. Um, team success leads to individual success, and I think that's a big representation of tonight. But uh, again, just thank you guys. Thank you to my family, parents, coaches, uh, just everybody. Thank you. To present the award for Women's Team of the Year Team Sports, please welcome SAC members Chloe Kintop, from women's basketball and cross country, and Jordan Hughes from football. This year's nominees for Women's Team of the Year Team Sports include a squad that earned its first ever MIAC regular season title. A team that secured its sixth straight season with at least 10 wins. A team that reached the MIAC playoffs for the seventh season in a row. And a team that earned its 13th straight season with at least 15 wins. Here are the nominees for the Women's Team of the Year Team Sports. Basketball. MIAC Coach of the Year Ted Reverses Augies earned their best MIAC record in program history, finishing with a mark of 19-2 in conference play, to claim the program's first ever MIAC regular season title. Augsburg finished 21-2 and made the MIAC playoff championship game for the third time in program history. Jen Masella was named the MIAC Player of the Year and earned all MIAC and all MIAC defensive team honors also earning a spot on the D3Hoops.com all-region team. Anya Smith and Selena Lohr also earned all MIAC honors, with Smith taking home the MIAC Sixth Player of the Year award. Jaylee Copeland and Kalina Myers were each named all MIAC honorable mentions. Hockey. Coach Michelle McAteer's Augies finished 12-11-2 overall and in fifth place in the MIAC securing the program's sixth straight full season with double-digit wins. Kenzie Malone and Peyton Allen earned all MIAC honors, while Emily Cronkite was named to the MIAC All-Rookie Team. Soccer, Coach Mike Navarro's Augies finished in fifth place in the MIAC standings and reached the MIAC playoff for the seventh season in a row, finishing with an overall mark 9-7-2. Jalen Nettlekamp was named the MIAC Rookie of the Year while well, Jennifer Boberic and Jen Masello both earned all MIAC honors and were named to the United Soccer Coaches Division III All-Region Team. Molly Connors and Anna Ortiz earned all MIAC honorable mention honors. Volleyball. Coach Jane Becker's Augies finished the season at 15 and 13 and in fifth place in the MIAC, securing the program's 13th straight full season with 15 plus wins and earning a spot in the MIAC playoffs for the ninth time in the last 12 years. Kayla Jurdy, Kevin Boyson, and Lexi Lang each earned all MIAC honors.
And the Augie Award goes to... Basketball. <laughs> Representing women's basketball, please welcome Jen Misillo and Selena Lore. Um, first, I want to thank the coaches for believing in us all season and pushing us to be the best versions of ourselves in and out of basketball. Um, thank you to Mary, our trainer, for taking care of us and taping all those ankles. <laughs> and finally, to our teammates, you guys are the reason why we won this award and had such a successful season. Thanks for being such hard workers. <laughs> we also want to thank all of you guys for coming out to support us, especially our home playoff games. We really felt you guys there, and that meant a lot to us, so thank you for that. Um, and also, happy birthday, Jaylee. <laughs> To present the award for Men's Team of the Year Team Sports, please welcome SAC members Jen Babaric from Women's Soccer and Elio De La Torre from Men's Soccer. This year's nominees for Men's Team of the Year Team Sports include a group that finished in second place in the conference standings, a team that advanced all the way to the national semifinals, and a team that reached the MIAC playoffs for the seventh time in program history. Here are the nominees for Men's Team of the Year Team Sports. Basketball. Coach Aaron Greeson Zoggies finished second in the MIAC and earned a spot in the MIAC playoffs with an overall record of 17 and 7 and 13 and 4 in conference play, securing the program's 15th straight season with double digit wins. Joe Palmer was named MIAC Player of the Year and earned NABC All America, NABC All District, and D3Hoops.com All Region honors. Raekwon Moore was named the MIAC Sixth Man of the Year. While Jack Sorensen earned all MIAC second team honors, Connor Knefley was selected to the all MIAC all defensive team, and Matt Carrick was named an all MIAC honorable mention. Hockey, MIAC coach of the year and AHCA Edward Jeremiah Award finalist Greg Mays Augies recorded their second most wins of the season in school history with a record of 25 and five claiming the program's 11th MIAC regular season title. Augsburg advanced to the NCAA Division III semifinals after defeating St. Norbert's in the quarterfinals, the fifth NCAA tournament win in program history. Austin Martinson was named the MIAC Player of the Year and earned AHCA Division III All-American honors, along with Mason Palmer. Martinson also earned All-USCHO Division III First Team honors while he and eight other Augies, including Palmer, Fritz Belisle, Jared Volkoviak, Austin Donimer, Gavin Holland, Patrick O'Connor, and Jack Robel also earned all MIAC honors. Samuel Vila Talke was named the MIAC All-Rookie Team, and Logan Cons and Nick Woodward were each named all MIAC honorable mentions. Soccer, Greg Holker's Augies finished fourth in the MIAC standings with an overall record of 12-6-1, reaching the MIAC playoffs for the seventh time in program history. Oscar Herrera, Nick Zukowski, Spencer Enright, and Drew Collins each earned United Soccer Coaches Division III All-Region honors. Herrera, Zukowski, and Enright each earned a spot on the All-MIAC team, while Collins and Jorge Aradia Elizaldi were named All-MIAC honorable mentions. And the Augie Award goes to... Hockey. <laughs> Representing men's hockey, please welcome Austin Martinson, Grant Reichenbacher, and Austin Dolomer. It truly is an honor for our team to receive this award. We just want to say congrats to other teams on great seasons. 
Um, we just want to give a quick, some quick thank yous first to our coaches for everything they did for us this year. We want to thank the entire training staff for the countless amount of hours you guys put in to make sure we stayed healthy. We want to thank our equipment manager, Will Bean, and our video guy, Matthew Meyer. And lastly, we want to thank our parents for all the love and support you guys gave us all year. Thank you. To present the award for Women's Team of the Year Individual Sports, please welcome SAC members Maya Bishop from Track and Field and Joe Palmer from Men's Basketball. This year's nominee for Women's Team of the Year Individual Sports includes a team that earned its best finish at the conference championships since 2012. And a team that placed sixth at the national championships. Here are the nominees for Women's Team of the Year Individual Sports. Golf. Coach Eric Rollins Augie has finished in seventh place in the MIAC Championships, their best finish since 2012. Emma Kraft broke the program record for a 36-hole tournament, shooting a 154 at the UW-Eau Claire Invitational. As a team, the Augies came within two strokes of a new program record with a two-day score of 658 at the Gustavus Division III Classic. Wrestling. Coach Jake Short's Augies posted a dual meet record of 7-2 and, and placed sixth at the National Collegiate Women's Wrestling Championships. Emily Chilson claimed her fourth collegiate national title with Nina Mockham. Marilyn Didi and Gabby Skidmore each earned all American honors. And the Augie Award goes to Wrestling. Representing women's wrestling, please welcome Marlon Didi and Emily Shilson. On behalf of the Augsburg Women's Wrestling Program, we want to say thank you to the Athletic Par Department for starting this program three years ago. We are the only women's wrestling program in the state of Minnesota, and we are very proud of this because it allows us to be trailblazers for younger girls in the sport. Yep, not only in the state of Minnesota, but all over the, the country, we're able to um, support the young girls' dreams of continuing their college wrestling careers. Um, also, I would want to thank my teammates. I love them all so much, and it's cool that we can be in a room with girls that are such good athletes, but also great people off the mat. And I also want to thank you, say thank you to my coaches, um, Jake Short. He really believes in each individual goal on and off the mat, and Coach Chad and Coach Chuck for all the support over the years. Thank you, guys. To present the award for Men's Team of the Year Individual Sports, please welcome SAC members Jenna Gerald from Women's Hockey and Rico Rodriguez from Baseball. This year's nominees for men's team individual sports included a squad that finished fifth at the MIAC championships. And a team that finished third at the national championships. Here are the nominees for men's team of the year individual sports. Golf. Coach Eric Rollins Augies finished in fifth place at the MIAC championships, earning the best team scores for both an 18 hole round and a 36-hole tournament since the fall of 2019. Four Augies finished in the top 18 individually at the Calford Championships, with Fritz Belisle finishing in 12th, Dylan Orvik finished in 16th, and River Goodmanson and Jack Robel tying for 18th. Wrestling, co-head coaches Chia Mozoff and Tony Valnick led the Augies to their 19th straight NCAA Division III Upper Midwest Regional title and finished third at the NCAA National Championships. 
The Augies qualified seven wrestlers for the national tournament for the 18th time in the last 19 years with Tyler Chilson, Tyler Kim, and Solomon Nielsen, and Bentley Shawanabek Osterman, each bringing home All American honors. And the Augie Award goes to. Wrestling. Representing men's wrestling, please welcome Nick Rogie, Solomon Nielsen, and Tyler Kim. We just want to start by saying thank you to the coaches the teammates, and the beautiful Augsburg community. And we'd like to also say thank you to our training staff, especially Marissa, for helping with all our boo-boos throughout the season. And the athletics department, Jeff, everything you do for us is great. I'd also like to thank our teammates, and all I gotta say is, where my dogs at? Well, I always say this is real world, real people, real life. This is what it is. This is what our world looks like. And if you can handle these type of atmosphere that we have here in Minneapolis, on our campus, off campus, and in the other teams that we play, you're going to be ready for the world. And so to me, that's what uh, an Augie is, is understanding how to handle real world, real life, real people. Augie athletes are very competitive, and they're willing to put in the work in on and off the court in the classroom and just basically putting the work in when nobody's watching. I think Augsburg athletes are very driven and they want to succeed in all aspects of life. You know, over my six years at Augsburg, I think the number one word that I hear that I put uh, as an Augsburg athlete um, and even as an Augsburg coach uh, or staff member uh, is grit. Um, you know, grit and determination and um, nothing is going to get in our way and we are, you know, not, not always the um, most talented team, we're not always the biggest team, we're not always the fastest team, but um, our grit and our determination um, goes above all of that and I think is what makes us good. I would say, you know, the thing that comes to my mind is tradition for us and tradition for us is all our guys are tough on top. Everyone, I feel like we have an edge when we go on the mat, conditioning-wise. Everyone's got more than the other guy they're putting out there with. Um, the main thing is just being dedicated to your respective team, the program, knowing that when you toss on the Augsburg jersey that you're representing a lot more than just yourself. Um, there's alumni, the community, the whole program, the whole school, and uh, faculty. We have our three team values, which is uh, united, devoted, relentless. And to me, that's what it means to be an Aussie athlete. You're united to your team, devoted and doing what it takes to become a champion and relentless in pursuing that. What makes a good Aussie athlete is, is one who is really student first, um, one who involves himself in the community and in the school as well, um, and one that, uh, that really takes pride in, in both the, the student and the athlete part, as cliche as it sounds. The great thing about Division III athletics is each student athlete has the ability to decide how they want their experience to go. Right? Are they going to be really committed to improving themselves as athletes in the offseason? That's a decision that they get to make. Right? There's nothing that's mandatory in the offseason. They have every single tool that they need in order to improve their skills and their strength. We train either, we used to train at like 5 a.m., we'll train at 6 a.m. now, and it's all very individualized. Coach makes a different set for every person and depending on like what you swim. In the winter and spring when we start um, hitting in the dome, 
then we're able to look more at the technique of our swings and dial it in. I think overall it's pretty difficult, but that's what you expect when you're training. I think that's the best thing about it is when it's a challenge, it pushes you to do better and it makes you better. So I, I enjoy it. it. Like if you're not sore the next day and if you're not like sweating by the end of the workout, you're not like doing it right. Like, you know, you really, the expectations are really high, just like they are on the ice. Um, you know, in the weight room, we want to push push hard and, and push gains and, you know, even having teammates push each other to go up in weights and, and do a little bit more than they, they thought they could. Um, and again, it just it translates from the weight room onto the ice. I guess it's a little different for the both of us because I'm a pitcher, so we do a lot more running, um, body weight stuff, lifting, um, than we're throwing every day. And our training in the room, it's always done with a purpose. We're not just going through the motions. We're not doing things that we've always done. We're always evolving, always getting better, always learning new things. Everything is with a purpose. Every wrestling workout is challenging, and even if it's not physically challenging, it's mentally challenging. Um, so after usually a, a harder practice, like I'll just lay on the mat and feel so relieved and so grateful for the opportunity to be here and work hard. So I don't know, I always just have a feeling of re relief and gratitude and I always take time to journal after my practices too to like reflect on my practice because every practice is important. And so that feeling is just overwhelming and it's always, it, the hard work pays off. To present the award for Women's Honor Athlete, please welcome SAC members Kayla Hansen from softball and Jordan Hughes from football. This award is considered Augsburg's highest athletic honor. The award is received for senior st student athletes and recognizes athletic and academic excellence throughout their careers. This, no this year's nominees for Women's Honor Athlete includes a volleyball and basketball player who earned all MIAC honors. A golfer who owns the highest scoring average in program history. A basketball and soccer student athlete who earned all conference honors in both sports. And a soccer player who earned MIAC Elite 22 honors. Here are the nominees for the Women's Athletes Honor Athletes. Kevin Boyson, basketball and volleyball. A member of both the basketball and volleyball teams at Augsburg, Kevin recorded 644 kills, 247 blocks, and 127 digs in 95 career volleyball matches and also played in 25 career basketball games. She was named to both the All-MIAC Volleyball Team and earned academic All-MIAC honors. Kevin is a physics and mathematics major with a 3.89 GPA. Emma Craft Golf. A member of the Augsburg golf team for four seasons, Emma enters this spring portion of her senior season with the highest scoring average in program history at 85.1 strokes per round. Throughout her career, she has earned a WGCA Scholar All-American, Academic All-MIAC, and All-MIAC Sportsmanship Team Honors. Emma is a biopsychology major with a 3.83 GPA. Jen Masello, basketball and soccer. A two-sport star at Augsburg, Jen played in 57 games as a defender on the soccer team with five goals and four assists and played in 82 games as a member of the basketball team with 615 points, 457 rebounds, 111 assists, 106 steals, and 94 blocks. During her career, she has been named United Soccer Coaches All-Region, All-MIAC, all MIAC honorable mention and academic all MIAC as a member of the soccer team and was named D3Hoops.com All Region MIAC Player of the Year. 
all MIAC, all MIAC defensive team, and academic all MIAC in basketball. She had as an exercise science major with a 3.67 GPA. Ana Ortiz, soccer. A player on the soccer team at Oxford for four seasons, Ana scored 11 goals with four assists in 58 career games as a midfielder. Throughout her career, she earned all MIAC honorable mention, all MIAC sportsmanship team, and academic all MIAC honors, in addition to earning MIAC Elite 22 honors. Anna is a music therapy major with a 3.99 GPA. And the Augie Award goes to... Jen Masello. thank all my coaches and teammates for giving me the chance. I, I truly did not expect this award, um, but yeah, thank you <laughs> to everybody who supported me along the way. This has been a long four years, but I just want to shout out my teammates especially because you guys are the reason I'm here and the reason I do what I do, so thank you guys so much. <laughs> to present the award for Men's Honor Athlete, please welcome SAC members Abby Bolig from Women's Hockey and Caden Scales from Men's Basketball. This year's nominees for men's honor athlete include a hockey player who earned all MIAC honors. A hockey player who was named an All-American. A hockey player who was named an, an AHCA All-American Scholar. And a basketball player who was named to the NABC Academic Honors Court. Here are the nominees for men's honor athlete. Yes! Austin Dolliver, hockey, a member of the Augsburg hockey team for three seasons. Austin scored 19 goals with 48 assists in his 84 games as an Augie. He earned all MIAC, all MIAC rookie team, and academic all MIAC honors during his career. In addition to being named an AHCA All-American Scholar, Austin is a finance major with a 3.82 GPA. Austin Koss, hockey. A member of the Augsburg hockey team for three seasons. Austin played in 36 games for the Augies with eight goals and eight assists. He was named academic All-MIAC and an AHCA All-American Scholar. In addition to receiving the NCAA Elite 90 Award recipient for being the student athlete with the highest GPA at the NCAA Men's Hockey Championship site. Austin is a finance and marketing major with a 4.0 GPA. Austin Martinson, hockey. A member of the Augsburg hockey team for five seasons. Austin scored 36 goals with 53 assists in his 105 games as an Augie. During his career, he was named to the AHCA All-American First Team and an All-USCHO Division III First Team. He also earned MIAC Player of the Year, All-MIAC and Academic All-MIAC Honors, Austin is a finance major with a 3.61 GPA. Jack Sorensen Basketball. A member of the Augsburg men's basketball team for three years, Jack scored 451 points with 114 rebounds, 100 assists, and 50 steals in his 40 games as an Augie. He was named to both the academic All-MIAC team and the NABC Academic Honors Court. Jack is a finance major with a 3.72 GPA. And the Augie Award goes to... 
Austin. Dahmer. I just want to say congrats to all other athletes that are here on great seasons. Um, it's an honor to receive this award. I owe a few thank yous. Um, thank you to my teammates for everything you guys have done for me and how special you guys made this year. Uh, thank you to the coaches for the tr tremendous job they did coming in this year. Thank you to the entire training staff for all the work you guys put in. And lastly, thank you to my parents and family for the constant support and love. Thank you. Please welcome back to the stage, Augsburg Athletic Director, Jeff Swenson. Congratulations to all our award winners tonight. Special thanks to all of our seniors. Thank you seniors for choosing Augsburg. Thank you for the incredible gifts you've shared with us. You will be missed, you will be remembered, and now we honor you with our senior video. Augsburg Athletics has given me the chance to grow and develop as both a leader and just a player and person in general, and that's something that I'm also very grateful for and I don't think I would have had the opportunity anywhere else. Not a lot of people get to say that they got to play sports after high school and I think um, not only for just us two but I can attest for everyone doing this interview, all the athletes here, it's, uh, it's quite the privilege to be able to play after high school and continue to do what we love. I feel like one of the biggest things I've gotten from Augsburg Athletics is just a sense of community and feeling as though I was accepted and supported for who I was and as a player and as an athlete and also as a person right as soon as I got here. Everyone's so close with one another like we go to the locker room every day and those are your sisters like you don't want to go anywhere else but with your sisters, to be honest. The thing I'm going to miss the most is probably the feeling of going to playoffs and having just that jolt of energy with the team and being that competitive edge and proving to other teams who think little of us, proving them wrong proving that we have what it takes to go to playoffs and beat the better teams that are out there. It can be really, really stressful without a good support system and the team has been there uh, every step of the way. No matter what happened on and off the field, like I made relationships that'll last a lifetime. I think I would say I'm most grateful for the support on and off the court that I've received from teammates, coaches, family. Just felt very comfortable here. Well, for me uh, personally, I'm more I'm like really grateful for all the obstacles that I that kind of came my way um, throughout my career. Kind of really helped me grow as a person throughout the years here at Oxford. The kids who are first years now, like I know that they'll still talk to me once I graduate and the people who I spent the most time with, like people in my grade, this is stuff that like in four years you're still going to be talking to them. So the people that I've met have been so impactful for me and have changed me um, for the better for both my golf career and for me as a person. To be honest, 
it's got to be the guys I'm wrestling with every day. I mean, the guys that I were here when I was a freshman to the guys that are freshmen now, those are the guys that, I don't know, that's what makes it all worth it. Being a good Augie athlete to me is like, you know, being there to help guide people, to help, you know, show the younger ones the, you know, how to, how to make it through college and, uh, yeah, and of course, you know, being supportive, all that. Augsburg Athletic has given me the ability to be resilient in hard times. Been here for five years now, so I probably couldn't even count on two hands how many guys that I've traded friendships with that will last forever, so. I'm really grateful for like looking back at all the like the challenges and the struggles, um, you know, that I've encountered through uh, my time here because, you know, with everyone, all my teammates and my coaches, like they've helped me, um, you know, attack those and uh, just become a better person. The seniors we had when we were freshmen, I still talk to them. Um, the freshmen that we have right now, like they'll grow up and someday we'll see our teammates in a wedding or something, which is weird to think about, but the journey with everyone has just been great. I'd probably end up being bridesmaid in that wedding. <laughs> I'm so proud of everything that you've accomplished. Uh, you know, we talk all the time about coming in um, and becoming a better person when you leave the program, and I definitely think each and every one of you have done that. They're a fantastic group of leaders. Um, they're a very close-knit, tight-knit group. Uh, they care a lot for our younger, our younger players as well. Um, younger meaning just in class-wise. I think the Augsburg athlete, after four years, the Augsburg student athlete, um, comes away, you know, with um, learning a lot and learning to um, push through a lot, but also becoming a, a better person, a better um, student, a better uh, athlete, and that they have grown in all of those areas. They're the ones that kind of turned us around and, you know, to see what they had to go through with COVID, a new coaching change, and all those things, that's tough. But you know what? That, that's what's going to make them really good in our, the world that they're living in and, and the way they go to their next job. Advice for my freshman self is push through it. It's all worth it in the end. And those 6 a.m. lifts get easier and easier. It's going to be a lot different than you would think, but just keep working hard and focus on yourself and your development. Just remembering that your growth is, is based on what you do and uh, your effort and your work. So I think just being okay with that you're gonna make mistakes. Don't give up, don't stop working hard. You know, you're gonna reach your goals and while it may take some time, just keep going. I would say to enjoy it while it lasts. We only have four years of college, of college uh, sports, so just live in the moment and enjoy just spending time with all, your entire teammate and team um, because I think that's what you really remember at the end of the day, not what's, what happens on the field. I would say be patient. Um, everything will come. You're gonna get better every season. Um, you may not be like where you wanna be, you know, right now, but practice makes semi-perfect. Put your head down and work. It pays off and you'll see it your sophomore year. Absorb everything in as you're taking it, kind of slow down time, just cause it goes fast. It was a quick four years. Don't let anybody put you down. No matter what anybody says or what 
you may look at yourself, just be positive, think highly of yourself, know you can do it, don't let anybody put you down. Three words that describes uh, my, my career here at Augsburg would be um, unforgettable, growth, and uh, joy. Take a step back, look around. Confidence, hard. Competitive. It was also a lot of fun. Patience. Challenging. Willingness. Rewarding. And rewarding. Interesting, you know, like the world's changed so much during my three years here. Challenging. Um, memorable. Definitely memorable. Memorable. Outside of athletics, it's been very educational. Exciting. A lot of fun. Competitive. Irreplaceable. Fulfilling. Fulfilling and life-changing. And rewarding. And also fulfilling. Challenging. Loving. Intense. Connectedness. I'd say fun. Rewarding. Adventurous. Grateful. Overall, amazing. Hardship, but not in a bad way. Fun. Exciting. Inviting. Rewarding. Caring. And fun. And impactful. Difficult. Inclusive perseverance in the family. <laughs> Overall, just an awesome experience and definitely unforgettable. And just, I feel like it's created a lot of relationships for me that are gonna continue throughout the rest of my life. It's just like one big family here in Kennedy. It's great. Kayla Hansen, exercise science major. My name's Austin Martinson, I'm a finance major. Alex Davis and business management. My name is Teron Busby, my degree is communications. My name is Paul Emke and I'm a biochem major. I'm Lexi Lang, exercise science. I'm Jen Masello and an exercise science major. Nick Rogi, biology. My name is Emma Kraft, um, and I'll be graduating with a degree in biopsychology. I'm Gavin Holland, marketing major. I'm Izzy Barr, and social work. Ethan Poppin, uh, biochemistry. Kevin Sethry, and I am a double major in history and American Indian studies. I'm Anna Ortiz, and I'm majoring in music therapy. Marco Cron Duran, uh, marketing major. Molly Connors, I'm majoring in communication studies. Uh, I'm Dylan Irving. Uh, I'm a marketing and management major, double major. I'm Lindsay Trotter. I'm a pre-law major. Kayla Jurdy, graphic design. I'm Bella Callis, and I am an elementary education major with a minor in music. I'm Kate Engage. I'm marketing and management major. I'm Abby Bullock, and I'm in elementary education. I'm Selena. My uh, degree is biochemistry. It's a good day to begin. Wow. Now we'd like to conclude the evening with uh, singing of the Augsburg fight song. The words are on the screen. We'll sing it through one time and finish it with our, our regular chant. Seniors, seniors, be sure you pick up your senior gifts in 206. Evening's not over quite yet. Be sure to, to go out the same door as you came in. 
Go back to the reception area. We have our world famous candy bar over there. Please uh, thank you for attending the 14th annual Augie Awards. Good night and go Augies. Yeah.